Um, y'all, uh, I know I'm part of the spiritual thing a little bit, not that much, but I want y'all to catch tea. I got this book from the library. Y'all see the library thing? The, yeah. So we are going to read this together. Spiritualism began as a um, ritual movement in the United States, more often inside a different sects of Christianity. What the hell? Even today, there was uh, various registered religions around the world based on spiritualist belief and principles. However, not all people who identify as spiritualists are part of an established religion. Generally, when I refer to spiritualists and um, spiritualism throughout the book, I am referring to people in the 19th and early 20, 20th uh, centuries who historically believed that communication could take place between the living and the dead. It says spiritualism was more than just a moment. It was an all-out all craze. Some of the most influential people like Thomas Edison, Mary Todd Lincoln, and Queen Victoria participated. There are three key reasons that spiritualism became a craze. If you remove any one of these factors, it is unlikely that spiritualism ever would have Gain the momentum it did. Key one, massive death. Death was a constant threat in the 18th, 19th, and early uh, uh, 20th century. It was always lurking in the shadows, ready to snatch you up the moment you let your guard down. The two biggest uh, contributors to the high body count of the time were pandemic, pandemics and war. What pandemic that we was in? It was COVID-19, right? They literally called it the pandemic. Now, we don't want to read all this. And then war. What what we, we are facing two wars. I think it's Israel and Haman and probably Russia and Ukraine. Is there another one? And this is advertising. I don't know what is their advertising, but look at this. So I'm about to I'm about to be honest with you guys. Um this is this is warning before the storm. This is all I tell you. This is warning before the storm. Y'all better take note and take pay attention, to be honest. And I'm gonna be honest, since it's like this feminist right here. <gasps> Beyonce! Who runs the world? Girls, okay. Right. Oh my god. What the fuck would they be advertising? The hell. I'm gonna read this more. Take a screenshot, read it yourself. Yeah. Look at this. Mm -mm. We got another one. Okay, that the, the feminist is the last movement, and I'm about to I'm about to leave y'all as a word of a thought right here. What if the Antichrist is a woman? Right. It's a woman portraying to be a man, or vice versa, like a transgender. This that's being honest. If you like this video, make sure you like this video or subscribe to my channel.